2018, I'm talking about the day before, um, where there was some type of agreement or plan, however you want to refer to it, to rent a vehicle. Do you recall that? Yes. Okay, so tell us about that. Whose idea was it to rent a vehicle? You have to speak up nice and loud. Dietrich. Okay, so it was Dietrich's idea to rent the vehicle. Why? Rob who? So when you say it was idea, what was supposed to be the plan? You rent the vehicle and what? Tell us in detail. And when you say we, who's the we? The four of you. Was there supposed to be anybody else involved that you're aware of? No. Okay. So who was supposed to rent the vehicle? Uh, on June 17th, this is the day before the homicide. Who is that? Had you met her before? And I'm talking about before June 17th, 2018. How long did you know her before that date? How often had you seen Tony Robinson before that date? Almost every other day. Who introduced you to Tony Robinson? And when he introduced you, how did he introduce her? Like, as what did he say, if, if anything, was the relationship to her? Who's actually just say? nice and loud so that we can hear you all the way back here. That, that was his sister, and he was over at the car, I mean, she was over at the car. Okay. Um, do you know what, how she was supposed to rent the car? For example, was it supposed to, was she supposed to go to like an Alamo or um, one of those places like Enterprise, or do you know how? You may answer. Okay. Had you, or to your knowledge, any of the co-defendants ever used that app before? No. Okay, so this was the first time, as far as you know, using that app to rent a car, just um, in general. Okay. Now, the app that she used, why was it that she was renting the car for the four of you? I'll ask you, breaking it down, um, were you able to rent the car? No. Okay. And do you know why she rent, she was renting the car? If you don't know, it's okay. Okay. Um, there came a point in time where the car had to be picked up as far as you know, correct? Yes. Who picked up the car? Me. Me and, you? Me and Michael Bullard. Okay. And was there anybody else besides you and Michael Boatwright that picked up the car? Yes. Who? Tony Robinson. Where did you pick the car up from? Somewhere in Europe. And when did you pick up the car? June 17th. I'm still in charge, but I can't hear you. June 17th, 2018. What time did you pick up the car? Was the sun still up or did the sun already set? Okay. Do you recall how long you were supposed to have the car for? And do you know, out of the four of you, who was supposed to drive around the car during this time that you said you were supposed to be robbing people? Who, out of the four of you, decided that Dietrich was going to drive the car? That's just what he knew to drive the car. Okay. So, um, in the car, besides the four of you, what else, if anything, did you have in order to be able to do this, to rob people? We all had guns, we had knives. 
Why? Okay. You expected to be armed with a firearm? Yes. Did at any point all four of you expect to be armed with a firearm? Yes. And what was the purpose of having a mask or masks, plural? So identify. Okay. Who was supposed to be wearing the mask? Everyone. So now, I'm going to ask you specifically about the firearms that each of you have. What kind of firearm do you have? I have a Springfield 40. What kind of firearm did Michael Boatwright have on that uh, June 18th, June 17th time frame? If I'm not mistaken, it's a GSK 22 rifle. Now, when you say 22 rifle, you know the caliber of the rifle? 22. 22 caliber. Okay. What kind of firearm did Trayvon Newsom have? Smith and Weston 38. Okay. Revolver. Revolver. What kind of firearm did Dietrich Williams have? Smith. My toy is 38 revolver. And was there anything uh that you recall that stood out, for example, about Dietrich Williams' 38 revolver firearm that he had? Yes. What? The hammer was gold and the trigger was gold. Okay. So it stood out for that reason because it was ornate? Yes. Now, um, let me take you to the morning of June 18, 2018. Okay? Um, you recall that day? Yes. When, where did the four of you start that day? Um, me, Michael Boatwright, and Trey Williams, we started at my house. Where was Dietrich Williams when the three of you, you, Michael Boatwright, and Trayvon Newsom, were at your house? He was home. At what point? Was it either discussed, or did you decide to all four get together and then actually leave to go do what you said you were going to do? At what time? Yes. Maybe like 2 o'clock. Who initiated that conversation? Uh, How did he initiate it? What we're doing today. You have to speak up nice and loud so that we can hear you all the way back here. That's where are we going today and where are we going? And what did you understand that to be in reference to what he was saying? Well, what area are we going to rob people? What did you say in response to Dietrich Williams initiating that conversation? It doesn't matter. What did Michael Boatwright say in response to Dietrich Williams initiating that conversation? Nothing. And what did Trayvon Newsom say in response to my um, Dietrich Williams initiating that conversation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You Nothing. can answer. Nothing. Okay. At some point, was this on, was this in person? Yes. So when all four of you were together and you said it doesn't matter, how did you decide where you were going to go? We had to decide. So at what point did you actually leave? the four of you, in that car? Uh, Chuck, you realize we didn't have any masks. Okay, so when you're saying Chuck, you're referring to also, you, you refer to him as Chucky sometimes, or Dietrich? Yes. Okay, and when you say he didn't have any masks, what did he need the mask for? To rob people. Uh, what kind of car was it that uh, was rented through the Toro app by Tony Robinson? The Dodge Jr. Okay. Um, so after Dietrich, Real Dietrich Williams realizes that he doesn't have a mask to rob people, what did you guys decide to do? To so a firearm. Where? Freedom Motorsports. Who drove to Freedom Motorsports? Dietrich. Okay, so Dietrich's driving in the front uh, driver's seat. Who's in the front passenger seat? 
my own boat ride. Who is in the back passenger seat? And where were you seated? Behind Jesus. When you're in the car on the way to Reba Motorsports, the firearms that you just detailed that everybody was in possession of, where were those firearms? In the car. Okay. When you say in the car, were they in the back or did everybody have their own respective firearms? Everybody had their own respective firearms. Um, what time did you get to Reba Motorsports? I'm not sure. It's three something. Okay. When you get there, what, if anything, do you realize uh, from the parking lot, or do any of you realize from the parking lot? He notices uh, the victim. How? He sees him walking in the store. So what does Dietrich Williams say when he notices the victim from the parking lot? Uh, say that exact thing. Did the three, you included, look up and see who he was referring to? Yes, he was already in the store. Okay, so I'll ask you one by one. What did you say in response to Dietrich Williams pointing out that Triple X was walking into Reba Motorsports? Nothing. What did Michael Boatwright say in response to Dietrich Williams pointing out that Triple X was walking into Reba Motorsports? Nothing. And what did Trayvon Newsom say in response to Dietrich Williams pointing out that Triple X was walking into Reba Motorsports? Nothing. So what did Dietrich Williams say next? When he pulled up next to the car. What car? He gave it up. Uh, X's car. How do you know that it was X's car? He just pulled it up on the phone. Okay. So Dietrich, Dietrich Williams was driving and intentionally pulled up next to Triple X's car? Yes. And what did he do next with whatever it is that he pulled up on his phone? He showed up just the same car. Where was he looking? What, what images were you looking at? If you say he showed us, from what? Instagram. Okay, do you know whose Instagram account it was? No. Uh, do you recall what the Instagram photograph or what the image looked like? And what, what was the purpose of Dietrich Williams pointing up, pointing out the car from Instagram? So at some point, he confirms that that's the car, and then what's, what's said next? They tell me to go inside with Dietrich. When you say they, we're going to be very specific because there's three co-defendants. Who told you to go inside with Dietrich Williams to see if Triple X was in there? Michael Bogart and Trayvon Newsom. They both did, told you to go inside? Yes. Okay. And do you know why, uh, what was the purpose of them telling you to go inside versus all four of you going inside or them just going inside themselves? No. Okay. Um, what, if anything, did Dietrich Williams say in response to Michael Boatwright and Trayvon Newsom telling you and Dietrich Williams to go inside? Um, Dietrich was already going in, but they just wanted to hear me say that it was, it was actually him. So they wanted to hear it from you as well? Yes. And the purpose you're saying for going in is to confirm that it was actually Triple X? Yes. And if it was Triple X, if there was a confirmation, then what was supposed to happen? What was the plan? There was no plan at the time. So when you say to confirm that it's him, was there going to be a next step as far as to target Triple X? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So at some point after Michael Boatwright and Trayvon Newsom tell you to go inside, you actually go inside? Yes. Who do you go inside with? Did you. Do you recall um, how you were dressed? Yes. How were you dressed? Uh, black t-shirt and black 
How was uh, Dietrich Williams dressed? How was Michael Boatwright dressed? How was Trayvon Newsom dressed? Gray sweatpants, black shoes, and a t-shirt. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go inside, um, oh, before I, before we go, before we have you get to the point of where you go inside, um, how tall are you? Five, eight, five, nine. How much do you weigh? Now or at the time? At the time in 2018. Okay. And I'm asking you in relation to first starting with Dietrich Williams. Were you heavier than Dietrich Williams or thinner than Dietrich Williams? Heavier. Trayvon Newsom. Were you heavier than Trayvon Newsom or thinner than Trayvon Newsom? Heavier. Michael Boatwright. Were you heavier than Michael Boatwright or thinner than Michael Boatwright? Heavier. Asking about height. Okay. Who is taller, you or Michael Boatwright? Michael Boatwright. How tall is Michael Boatwright, from what you can recall? Who is taller, you or Trayvon Newsom? Trayvon. How tall is Trayvon Newsom? You recall? Who is taller, you or Dietrich Williams? How tall is Dietrich Williams? Probably five, seven, five, six. Who is the tallest out of the four of you? Michael Boatwright. And then who would you say is the next tallest? Trayvon Newsom. So you're in the store. Um, do you see the victim? Yes. Where? To your left when you're walking into the store? Yes. What was he wearing? Okay. What else did you notice about him? Do you remember how his hair was styled? Do you remember if his hair had any colors or anything like that to it, or what color his hair was? Okay. Um, do you remember if he had on any jewelry? Not at the time. Not at the time. Did there come a point in time where you realized he had jewelry? I think when was Okay. Tell us about it. How did you realize he had jewelry? Okay. At what point did Dietrich tell you that the victim had jewelry? Okay. Um, <clears throat> did you see if the victim was with anyone? Yes. Who? Do you know the person? No. Can you identify what the person looked like? No. Do you know if the person was male or female? Male. Do you know what race the person was? Black. Um, when you were in there, um, had you ever seen Triple uh, X before that day and time? No. Do you know if Michael Boltwright was familiar with Triple X? No. Do you know if Trayvon Newsom was familiar with Triple X. Do you know if Dietrich Williams was familiar with Triple X? Yes. What did he say, or how did he tell you he was? Do you know, is he a follower on Instagram? Okay. Um, besides Dietrich Williams, first initiating the conversation about robbing Triple X. 
was there anybody, and I mean anybody, whether it's somebody that you know we know personally or not, was there anybody else that brought up or was responsible for the four of you robbing Triple X besides Dietrich Williams? No. Was there anybody, for example, that hired you to do this? No. Was there anybody that initiated it for any reason that you haven't told us today? No. Now, when you spotted Triple X, did he actually, could you tell, could Triple X see you? Um, where did you go from, from that point? Did you stay around Triple X or did you continue to walk on? Where? <coughs> Why? So what did you do when I say you, you and Dietrich Williams, what did you do next? When you say tried, what do you mean you tried? Why were you trying to call Michael Boat right? <coughs> okay, remember, keep your voice nice and loud. Okay, so um, what did you do next after the call wasn't able to go through to Michael? How long were you in the store? Were masks actually purchased? Yes. By who? Do you know what kind of mask? Black mask. And do you know how many, if any? Mm -hmm. uh, were you there at the counter when he was purchasing the mask? Not sure. After Dietrich Williams purchased his mask uh, to rob that day, where did you guys do next? Did you see um, Triple X again on the way out of the store? Where was he the second time you saw him? Do you know if Triple X noticed you the second time on the way out? What, if anything, did you do next? So based on what you're telling us, you exited the store first before Triple X? Yes. OK. Where was the car? And you by the car, which car are you referring to? Which car? That you walked to. <coughs> Where was it? In the parking lot. And who was it that parked it there? So when you get back into the car, what position, uh, who was the driver? Who was the front passenger? Michael Fulbright. Who was the back passenger? Jay Williams. And where were you seated? Behind you. And now that you're back in the car, where are the firearms? In the car. Where? Are, are they in the lump in a trunk, or are, does everybody, does everybody <laughs> have their firearm on them? <clears throat> okay. Um, at this point, what do you discuss now that the four of you are back in the car, and do you confirm for the three co-defendants that you indeed saw Triple X? I tell them I saw Triple X in the quiet, in the evening, after what they were going to do. I tell them... No, I don't think that's a good idea because I just went in the camera. So you were aware that there was surveillance in Reba Motorsports? Yes. And when you say, that's not a good idea because I'm on camera, why did you care about that? Because what? I can't hear you nice and loud. I knew it was a great chance I was, I was really going to be caught. And <coughs> your voice, I'm sorry, does he have a microphone in front of him? Yes. yes. Okay. You knew it was a great chance that you were going to be caught, and why is that significant to you? It's kind of obvious that you don't want to get arrested. Right. Okay. 
How did Michael Boatwright feel about that? What did he say he felt about that? How about Trayvon Newsom? And what did Dietrich Williams say? He asked the two, uh, Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boatwright, if they're scared. And what, if anything, in response to Dietrich Williams saying, are you scared, did Michael Boatwright do? All right, we're going to get him. Who's the him? What, if anything, in response to Dietrich Williams saying, are you scared, did Trayvon Newsom do? All right, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. I think he said the same thing. Thank you. Now that the four of you are in the car, and I guess you've decided you're going to get Triple X, how then does Michael Boatwright get dressed from that point? He puts on his black hoodie. And what else? His mask. And what about Trayvon Newsom? How does he get dressed? He puts on a black sweater and he puts on his mask. How was it decided between the four of you that Michael Boatwright and Trayvon Newsom were going to wear the mask and the hoodie? Because Egypt was driving and I told him I was not getting out because I didn't want to parts of it because I knew I was just going to tell Okay. So just from that, it was decided then that <coughs> Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boatwright were going to be the ones to actually get out with the mask. Yes. Okay. Um, where did you guys go from there? Are you still in the parking lot at this point? No, we're in the park, park the street. Why? Why did you move from the Rebus parking lot to park across the street? Because uh, somebody came up with some type, some type of theory saying that we leave out of the parking lot and move, mm -hmm. and move next to the next parking lot and across the street in that parking lot that it look like we left. So it was Chucky's idea to show, to act like you left to the, so that you're not on camera? Yes. Okay. Were you aware that Reva's cameras extended all the way to across the street where you parked? No. Now, what was the purpose of even, besides um, trying to evade being on camera, what was the purpose of waiting across the street? What were you waiting for? Uh, Who's him? Why were you waiting for him to pull out of the store? So Jesus would block him off. Whose idea was that to block off the victim as he's leaving Reba Motorsports? Please answer. Whose idea was it? Adrian Williams. Okay. So, had you been to Regal Motorsports before that day? No. From what you recall from the layout, do you know how many exits there were? Um, one. And the exit that you were waiting for the victim to come out of, how was the rest of the building situated? Was it open space or was it enclosed with a gate? The gate. Okay. And when you're saying that you that Dietrich wanted to uh, block him off, was the purpose to trap the victim as he's trying to exit? <coughs> so once he's trapped, what was the plan supposed to be? Once Dietrich Williams cuts him off and traps off his car, his being the victim in this case, what was the plan for the three of you? What was Michael Boltwright supposed to do? Michael Boltwright and Trayvon Newsom was supposed to get out and call him Okay. With the firearms that you just uh, detailed a little earlier that they had? Yes. How long did it take while you're sitting there waiting for the victim to come out of the store? Okay, so for 10 minutes, the four of you sat, lying in wait for the victim to come out? What's the discussion happening as you're waiting for the victim to, to come out and you're about to target him? Between the four of you? 
Eventually, does the victim come out? Yes. Who is he with? Somebody. Did it appear, from what you can tell in your vantage point, if the victim was armed? No. Did it appear, from your vantage point, that the victim even had any idea or knew, from your vantage point, <clears throat> based on his demeanor, of what you guys were about to do, that there was some danger that was approaching? No. Okay. So the victim gets in the car. What position does the victim get? What position of the car, his own car, does he get in? He's driving. What about the gentleman that you said, uh, the black male that he was with? He was a passenger. And what happens next? They drive. They drive around. And come. As they're coming out, they're looking for us. He drops them off. When you say get out, did the car, tell us the speed in which this happened. For example, did Michael Boltwright drive obeying the limits of the law and gingerly pull out in front of the victim? Or how fast was he going? He was out of his speed. Okay. How fast did Michael Boltwright get out the car? Very fast. How fast did Trayvon Newsom get out the car? Very fast. Was there any discussion prior to that the two of them, referring to Michael Boltwright and Trayvon Newsom, were going to get out the car at the same time and then what they were going to do once they got out the car? No. Okay. How was it decided who was going to go to what side of the victim's car? For example, who was going to go to the driver's side or who was going to go to the passenger side of the victim? Okay. Um, and where were you seated when you're watching all of this? So tell us, once Michael Boltwright gets out of the Dodge Journey and approaches the victim's vehicle, what does he, he, referring to Michael Boltwright, say and do? First, what does he say? Michael Boltwright? Yes. What is he saying as he's, you're saying, robbing him? What is he saying? Okay. What is he doing? He has, uh, he has his rifle. He's right side the window. Uh, I'm sorry? Nice his, and loud. He has his rifle stuck inside, right inside the car. What side of the car? Driver's side. How is he holding the rifle? He being Michael Boatwright. Show us with your hands the best that you can. Okay, so you're showing both hands? Yes. Now I see your hands are, you're uh, in, you're in custody, so your hands are handcuffed and shackled to your waist, correct? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm using myself as an example, okay? How high up? Tell me when to stop when I get to the height that he was holding the rifle. All right, Okay, so Michael Boltwright is holding the rifle like this with two hands? Yes. And he's pointing it at the victim. Yes. Okay. How about Trayvon Newsom? What does he do once he gets out the car with his firearm? Uh, he runs to he runs to the car and he's holding on his necklace. Whose necklace? At that point, where where was the passenger that was with Triple X? <clears throat> Okay. And from which side of the car is Trayvon Newsom trying to take 
selects his neck necklace. Okay, so at the point that you're describing, both Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boltwright are on the driver's side. Yes. And <coughs> while Michael Boltwright is holding the firearm on the victim, Trayvon Newsom is trying to take his property. Yes. What if anything is Triple X doing in response to any of this? What is you could you hear what he was saying? What is Trayvon Newsom, if anything, what is he saying? Were you able to hear him? No. At some point, um, what happens next after they both, they being Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boltwright are on the same side of the driver's side of the victim's car? What happens next? Michael Boltwright pushes, pushes Trayvon to go on the other side of the car. Does Trayvon Newsom go on the other side? Yes. And what happens next? What bag? <clears throat> okay, do you remember what kind of bag it was? Yes. Tell us. What does uh, Trayvon Newsom do after he grabs the bag? As he's grabbing the bag, shots are coming. George, I'm going to ask him to speak to the microphone. As he's grabbing the bag, shots are fired. Who shoots the shots that are fired? Michael Boltwright. And who does he shoot? Triple X. Where does he shoot him from? What side of the car? Driver. So if Triple X is in the driver's seat and Michael Boltwright is in the driver's side, the shots are coming onto Triple X's left side? or right side? Which side? Left side. Okay. And what happens, at, how many times do you recall that Michael Boltwright shoots Triple X? Maybe like two or three times. What does Triple X do as a result of that? What does Michael Boltwright do next? What does Trayvon Newsom do? Come up, slips. What does Dietrich Williams do? Now, are all four back in the Dodge journey? Yes. What does Dietrich Williams do? He drives off. How long does this take from the point that Dietrich Williams cuts off the victim from leaving Reba Motorsports and Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boltwright get out and shove guns in the face of the victim. How long does all this take from start to finish? That's the three minutes. At some point, and I'm going to get into what happens after um, the shooting, at some point you realize there was surveillance of everything that we're talking about today, correct? Yes. Now, uh, may I approach, Your Honor? You may. I'm going to show you what has been pre-marked for identification in State B. <coughs> do you recognize State B? Yes. How do you recognize State B? I And what else? B. Okay. Had you had an opportunity to review State B? Yes. And does it fairly and accurately represent what you recall the events and the images and the video of what happened on June 18th, 